Welcome back to the Decentralized Studios. I'm here today with Monty Metzger, CEO and founder of LCX, a company in Liechtenstein looking to build out a blockchain ecosystem for professional investors. Monty, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, Owen, happy to be here. I appreciate it. Let's jump right in. LCX, talk to me about the vision. What are you trying to build here? Well, LCX started out in Liechtenstein um, under the synonym of Liechtenstein Crypto Assets Exchange. We initially just wanted to build an exchange and then we spotted out that as a professional investor, there are many building blocks which they need, starting from custodianship to the physical like exchange of, of security tokens, other crypto assets, until um, actually the, the banking services around. So we, as a vision, um, trying to build a blockchain ecosystem aiming to become a blockchain bank at some point of time in the future. Okay, very interesting. Now, the blockchain bank thing, of course, very interesting here in Switzerland as well. We just had two get the licensing here. How is it looking in Liechtenstein with the, with the licensing for the crypto companies in the banking sphere? So being in Liechtenstein is just exciting um, as the support by the government and the regulators is very strong. Mm -hmm. As you know, sometimes as being an agile, small country, um, they can do things a little bit quicker than, than over here in Switzerland or other jurisdictions. So, uh, but nevertheless, uh, we are just at the beginning of this process. Uh, we have to do our home, homework um, to, f to prepare all the documents and files and then basically file the, the, the full licensing um, in the near future. The yep. near future. Okay, so that's around the corner. Let's talk about then where you are now. If we go visit the LCX homepage, for example, what are we able to do currently? Yeah. So um, currently, you can start to trade on several crypto exchanges. Uh, we have launched a product called LCX Terminal, mm -hmm. which is like a Bloomberg trading desk. So you can plug into 12 exchanges at the moment, Binance, Bittrex, Coinbase Pro, Kraken, and so on, and have a real-time portfolio overview. You have a beautiful news desk, uh, either like just the headlines or with different tiles. Um, and then um, you have a price alert system also with Telegram notifications, which I think new to the industry, um, web and, and email. And then uh, last but not least, it's a reporting tool. So you can have cross or multi-platform, multi-exchange reporting uh, with your portfolio analysis, profit loss. And it's especially for every semi-professional or even professional hedge fund, crypto fund, essential. You know, um, doing tax files uh, is, is a headache if you are trading on multiple exchanges. We are really solving that. And uh, so that's called LCX Terminal. Okay, so and that's just one silo, but you're, you've really got big goals to sort of take over the whole, the whole industry for the professional side of things. Exactly, but um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I've started several companies back in the 90s and early 2000s, and then turned to be an, an investor uh, with my venture capital fund in, in the last five years. So I know it's important to build traction and to build things where we can learn from the community. And especially last 20 days or a couple of, a couple of weeks had been tremendous growth on the platform. Mm -hmm. We grew from a few hundred to thousands, tens of thousands of users now wow. uh, within a very short time So this frame. isn't a beta testing phase, it's fully live, right? It's Did fully you know? live okay. and, and, and it's essential for us because it's a trading interface, right. which will then um, serve for other products we'll launch at a later point of time as well. We can learn from the community, we can see what's important to them, how do they trade, how do they interact with us. Also, like, you know, being a startup, building up the customer support, uh, the whole back-end infrastructure, um, explaining and working with uh, institutions or um, government regulators as well, step-by-step -step explaining them what we do. Um, is, is an educational process Absolutely. and uh, the kind of speed of uh, innovation is important for us. Trial and error, improve the platform step by step and then um, they're slowly becoming something uh, growing. Something great, absolutely. Yeah. Now, of course, the feedback is very important, but here's something interesting I saw. Is it true the original idea for LCX, you wrote it down on a napkin? Is that, is, that, is that the case? That's right. And it was exactly like a few hundred meters here from Zouk no in the heart of Crypto Valley. Yeah. Um, I sat down with a couple of people and we just noted down the things, I, especially you know, being a professional investor, uh, as um, I had been in, in the past with the Venture Capital Fund, we had been blocked to be active in the space. Right. The infrastructure is lacking. And then if you look at the industry itself, it's really like Wild West in terms of market speculation, um, manipulation of pricing, and there's sure. no regulation. It's still in its infancy, absolutely. And, and a lot of the exchanges also don't do um, the self-regulated issues and topics to to um, kind of um, bring the market to the next level. And that's where we see the biggest opportunity. And that's what we wrote down in the napkin saying, like, right. we, we need to build the infrastructure which is needed. Um, you know, um, 
blockchain is to the money what email was to the letter. Right. So it's really a transformational process. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. And then now speaking a little bit about policy and shaping policy, I saw recently that LCX and, and you in particular, you're going to be joining a, an international group of, of crypto uh, companies looking to sort of shape the future of regulation. Is that is that right? Exactly. So shaping the future of uh, policy making around policy. blockchain, yeah. um, as well as connecting with international partners is key from us. Yeah. Um, I've been very internationally active uh, in the past uh, two decades. So that's We've something which... we the which World Economic Forum, of course. And, and exactly. And I uh, will be joining the next forum uh, next week in India, actually, with the World Economic Forum. Um, where, you know, in India, the blockchain is very controversially looked at. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, I think the biggest problem for the decision makers is there's a flood of information. Crypto is so f um, fast and, yeah. and so speedy. So um, all, all of them feel like being drowned in the data, but starving in wisdom. Yeah. So we as a community and as an industry need to take some time and, and guide them and um, try to work uh, with these institutions. So we announced two things. Um, first of all, last uh, January, the uh, membership at the World Economic Forum right. Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution, which is exciting to be part of. Uh, we are in working groups where we work with uh, 45 central banks now on topics like CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, right. Big topic. Um, stable coins, Libra discussion. <laughs> it's very of exciting. Course, yeah. uh, mostly highly confidential stuff, um, sure, sure. but it's good to be involved. Can you give us any sneak peeks? What's uh, what's coming around the corner on the, the political side of things? Well, um, what is exciting um, to look at is there's a paper um, from the World Economic Forum about central um, banks' involvement in blockchain, and a lot of the uh, blockchain, uh, a lot of the central banks already started with pilot projects. You know, Singapore. Right. There's Thailand. There's um, South Africa. And Cambodia ha had been the first central bank um, launching or announcing their, their uh, CBDC mm -hmm. uh, token. Um, so this will be a kind of a stable coin uh, concept. Interesting. And um, they're, they're openly talking about it. Super exciting The Marshall stuff. Islands, too, they announced something a little while ago as well. Maybe, yeah. Right? I think it's so exciting to see. And now it's not happening. Um, the innovation is not happening at one central spot. Absolutely. So you don't have to be in Silicon Valley yeah. uh, to do this. Now it is Marshall Islands. There's yeah. Cambodia. Yeah, and Zouk yeah, exactly. is, is, uh, is suddenly in the roadmap. And that's uh, so exciting exciting about uh, the blockchain in the in crypto industry. And you mentioned it a little bit before, being in Liechtenstein and sort of an agile country. I think, yeah, you're right, exactly. Here, here's an opportunity with blockchain where innovation can come from, not just the central hubs that we, that we know and love, of course. Very exciting. Exactly, yeah. Now, speaking of innovation, you've got a couple new products on the horizon, some getting some pretty interesting attention. We've got to talk about the partnership with my man Wesley Snipes. Can we talk a little bit about the fund you're putting together? Absolutely. I mean, uh, as we are building this, uh, have the plan to launch a security token exchange, uh, it's a marketplace. So it's like eBay. You need to get, have, to good, uh, have to get good assets to sell, yeah. and uh, that will drive uh, adoption and usage. So we had been spending a lot of time into uh, building own security token offerings, uh, and then uh, starting to get approvals for this step by step as well. Uh, what we've now announced is a partnership uh, which is like in the making. So we're just drafting all the prospectus, all the, all the th things we have to file uh, for the regulator. And then we're launching a security token, which is um, a piece of uh, the, day mover, uh, the, the Daywalker Movie Fund. Okay. So the Daywalker Movie Fund is a fund uh, which invests into movie projects around or with Wesley Snipes. So either him as a director a pr production role or uh, being the actor itself. Right. And so soon we'll be also able to talk about the movies itself. Um, but now we're trying to get all the um, technical and regulatory uh, stuff going that we um, will be able to talk talk about details in the next coming weeks yeah. already, so it's not something which is far away. Um, and it's exciting because as a, as a movie actor, as a celebrity, you can then engage with your community in a much different way. Absolutely. They can be part of your success, mm -hmm. they can make it to a success, um, and they can have a share of, of their returns. Yep. Um, and, and sometimes it's just the feeling of, of being part of it. Um, and we are figuring out if we can do additional things like um, some uh, raffles where people could be then invited to the, to the premiere party right. or, or something like that. So all, all the cool things around, yeah. And then I got to ask, so talking to Wesley, I mean, how much did you have to explain to him about, about blockchain, about DLT? Is he quite interested in the technology? Does he know a little bit about it already? Where does he stand on that? 
You know, it's a tipping point of the industry. Funding for Hollywood productions is critical all the time. Yeah. We've now seen that some of the tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent right. are now um, financing the, the, the next Hollywood blockbusters. Um, and engaging with the community always had been crucial, so the fans and everything. Crowdfunding has already tried um, a couple of these things, yeah. but the tools, you know, even the front end is the, can be set up quickly, but the back end is not working right. So with blockchain and token economics, you can actually build that up. And uh, talking to, to Wesley personally on that side is, was uh, fascinating to see how much knowledge he has. Okay. Um, so we, we didn't have to start from A to, A to Z and, and explain what a token is. He already knows and um, that's exciting also that he's embracing this opportunity and sees where it could lead us. Um, obviously, uh, working with uh, such a prominent person we have to take it uh, carefully and, course, and yeah. engage the community the right way um, as LCX always strive to set new standards in terms of quality, platform and execution. This digital excellence has to be brought into that project with the Daywalker Movie Fund yeah. as well. Um, so high standards in terms of KYC, ML, regulation sure. part, the platform itself, security. Yeah. Um, and, and in this time, it's not only playing with the reputation of a young startup, you know. Right. LCX is a year old, you know, one and a half years old company now. Um, it's different talking with uh, somebody who has a reputation of 50 years of, of, of movie making. Absolutely. Um, so there are some pressures on our shoulder now. But it also says something about how, you know, how he sees uh, your company and you yourself and the, the trust there. So that's, that's definitely a pat on the back for you as well, being a young startup like that. Let's get back to LCX in general. Another interesting um, offering on the horizon is the IEO. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, for us, um, having a utility token as a means of a voucher where people can use our services and pay with it is essential. So uh, actually now you can go on lcx.com slash terminal. You can log into the, the LCX terminal and uh, subscribe to a pro version, mm -hmm. which you can only pay with the utility token. Okay. So this uh, way of uh, automation and um, having the efficiency of blockchain technology in the back end uh, is crucial for us. And um, one topic is acquiring users, like how do we distribute the token, how do we talk about what we, what we currently have, and the, and the platform is so unique and useful for a lot of users, so that's why we decided to um, reach out to, to, to the community, um, do some partnerships, and one part of this was um, an IEO, initial exchange offering, which we did exclusively with Liquid. Right. So at uh, liquid.com, people could subscribe. It's now already closed, and it was a, like a short period. But for us, one step to the, uh, the launch of the token on the platform itself. Yeah. So it will be listed on October 1st, next yeah. week. Yeah. Um, and and where, where are we going to be able to find it? Where will it be listed? Uh, on liquid.com. Okay, on liquid, yeah. And the story like with how we pick our partners is also uh, crucial. So with Liquid, we have uh, a company with 350 employees, uh, re fully regulated and, um, and compliant in Japan, now doing operational business also globally uh, with, their, with their operations out of Singapore. But it is a trusted and liable and legit partner, super essential for us because we share the, the common view of where the industry will head. So um, they took kind of a hard path, probably did not grow as, as much as other exchanges in the sure. past, mm -hmm. but they, they did it right. And it's yeah. something which we share. And um, even if we are sometimes slower than others, um, you know, better get it right, uh, get it right. Than, yeah. than make mistakes on the way. Absolutely. Okay. So the, the launch of the IEO token will be just around the corner in October. A couple months left in 2019. What else can we look forward to from LCX? Well, we'd like to learn from community, so I invite everybody to join, register. Uh, we also have a f kind of notification feature for the Daywalker Movie Fund on the platform, so you can indicate what, what kind of investment you'd like ah. to do. And then at uh, the moment we are live, um, when, we, when we got all the approvals, uh, we will share details about this immediately. And now it's about uh, execution, basically growth, reaching out to the, to the people, learning from, from them, um, and on the way, kind of uh, extending our network. Well, Monty, we'll be paying close attention. A lot of exciting stuff coming up. Thanks so much for stopping yeah, by. Yeah, We'll see you next time. Excellent. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Well, hey, uh, there you are. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to check out our most recent videos. We've got them right here for you. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon.